tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. The songs will become different. The, the lyrics will, will become different because of what everybody is experiencing. Meaning, you can go back to this, this project 10 years from now, 5 years from now, and it captured a specific experience in our lifetime when we were in a lockdown. So the lyrics of the songs, of the Filipino songs, were different. It, it became alive. When Trisha sang, means and pa, yakapin mo ako, it's a longing of, like somebody is already, you know, passing on. Once in, you know, it, it's a cry of, or a yearn that please one more time, hug me. And all the songs that we picked, the 14 songs are just so beautiful that it became my trajectory as well to really push myself to have a talk show on my page, the in-between rooms, because I have an episode, I have a project, I have guests that I want to highlight. We can talk about the project with, with the people that I work with and include everybody. So I said, there's so much content. I'm not going to be bored for about a year. <laughs> That's why in between rooms became like my, my thing. I said, I can do a talk show every single day and follow well, every time I talk in front of the camera, I remember how Eddie Mercado was speaking straight to the camera in yeah. the letter. I remember Uncle Bob when I was younger and I was part of the, I was getting into the studio and I saw the camera and I said, wow, what is that? My fear was bigger than my, my, my want or my skill or, or my, my will. My, my, the fear was bigger. But I said... If I were to have, if I were to die, I think very, 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 very simple. If I were to die because of COVID, I want to do what I really love most. And I love the camera. I like looking straight at the camera. I like communicating and listening to people. And for the first time, I actually, um, you know, taking each skin out of me and I said, this is authentic. I realized that it's not. It's just so nice to be comfortable just saying, this is who I am, this is what I've been, and this is where I'm going. I, finally, it took a long time yeah. to say that. Yeah. I know yeah. that this is not a business for me yet. This is, a mon this is not monetized for me. This is an expression. And I think I've told you in the beginning that this is really a very therapeutic thing for me to do, you know? You know what I'm yeah, connecting with Yeah, it's a passion project. Like, yeah. Because for me, this is more a passion project. For the first time in my life, I'm not taking myself too seriously now because, I, what, because I'm really enjoying it. I really, the, it's undeniable. I can't believe how, <laughs> how I'm enjoying it. But, let me tell you, give you in a secret. My nighttime is really my winding down. My energy in the morning is different. Although, again, because it's a chat show, even if it's nighttime and I'm talking to you, I'm really enjoying it. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.